Uh, the other thing to keep in mind with systems is they don't have to be complicated. All marketing is actually really simple. It's just that most companies don't do it proactively. They only do it reactively. So to go back to proactive and reactive, here's the difference. Reactive marketing is any kind of marketing that you don't have control over the quantity of deal flow that you get. I'll say that again. You don't have direct control over the quantity of a deal flow that you get. Deal flow is just a fancy way of saying leads, the amount of phone calls you get. Now, proactive marketing, on the other hand, where you put a dollar into something and get $7 out, that you do have control over the quantity of the amount of deal flow you get. For example, reactive marketing would be something like uh, getting referrals or um, being on like the Google local listing, right? Those are good things. Reactive marketing is good. It's not bad. It's good, but you're not in control of it. So what I mean is, is let's say you get 25 clicks a month onto you know ABC Maid Service in Cincinnati, Ohio. That's awesome. Like we want those clicks. Like sell those people your services. But how do we take the 23 clicks a month and turn it into 150, you know, clicks a month? We we can't, right? The only way we can do that is by targeting and going proactively after our perfect ideal customer in a proactive way rather than just hoping more people refer us or hoping that we, we, we get another job through a reactive channel. Another reactive channel would be something like uh, uh, Angie's List. Um, some people love Angie's List, some people hate it. I don't really care either way. It can work, if it works for you, do it. Um, Home Advisor, Angie's List, these are great things, uh, but you can't, you can't make the 11 calls a month that you get from Home Advisor or Angie's List, you can't turn that into 73 calls. You can only do that by creating a lever using proactive marketing.